Yo, what is up everybody? I hope everyone is doing well, kicking ass, taking ass, and obtaining. We're gonna do a draft here. Uh, it's been a hot minute, but we will we'll throw one out there. I've played like two or three, uh, drafts of this format. Uh, I'm doing alright. I wanna hear a little something, something. Mm, alright. Uh, I don't really know anything about the format. Mm. I my two actually now I remember I've done two drafts and had two mistresses in one and two verses in the other. They were both good decks. They didn't do great though, because I don't really know the format. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has flying, and haste and uh, plus one, or for one mana this creature gets plus one until end of turn if it's a dragon. Uh, it's a dragon in addition to its other types. If this creature dies, return this to your hand. It seems like a pretty good card. Junkyard Genius enters the battlefield, create a thing, sacrifice another creature order effect. Until end of turn, target creature you control gets plus one, uh, plus zero, and gains menace and haste. That seems like a really good card. It makes the thing by itself. This card might be better. Mm. Target player mills two. When it dies, target creature you control. Uh, you don't control gets uh, smaller. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's supposed to be best in this pack, but this card seems really nice. Uh, yeah, this card might be a bomb. It gives the creature flying. I mean, it's one color. I mean, flying. Come on, man. Flying. Recurring flying effect. That seems pretty good. Mm, on a hasty boy. Uh, and give the creature haste. Okay. Three tapped things. Gain three life. Guy dies, does a thing. Filter, draw a card. Mm. You do draw two cards. Mm. Nah. Uh, this guy's pretty good. 3-2 haste. Then later on you just got a 6-4 haste. Mm. It's like the only other good red card too, so that pack seemed pretty mid. And here's the battlefield create a th uh, tap dude leaves the battlefield sacrifice one. Uh, as long as it's your turn and you control four or more mountains, this guy gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of mountains you go. So oh, until you have four, he's just a zero four. But once you get to four, he's like hella good. This card seems fine. Two one ones at instant speed, or your team just gets bigger. Like you could get like three or four of these. Hey, the thing is, it's four mana, so having three or four of that seems pretty mid, actually. Hmm. I feel like I should take one of these two. Could take this thing. Seems like a pretty good aggressive creature. I like that. Story target artifact. If it's a mana value has one or less, draw a card. I mean, this feels like this could happen a decent amount of the time. This guy's also the juggernaut of this set. With Unearth, which is really good. This card might wheel. What I like about this is, I mean, there's a lot of these power stones being made. So, just destroying one, drawing a card is pretty good. There's the battlefield. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. And this card's also pretty good. But I think just... Menace, or, you know, Unearth on a 5-3 seems so nice. Prototype, uh, 1-3 Tiny Dragon. 2 mana to get it bigger. Or an 8 mana 5-5. Five five. Uh, kind of cool card, though. I like this guy, dude. Oh. When this guy dies, create a soldier. Prowess. This is like a, a different deck. Mm, which one of these is better? More aggressive this one for sure. Mm, yeah, we have enough top end. Let's go with the, uh, the smaller dude. Wow, this card going fourth pick seems insane. This pack must have been crazy good. Or am I just over-evaluating that card? 
three one. Seems pretty nice. We put a artifact card from among the cards mailed this way into your hand. If you don't, he's a three two. So it's like three two or draw a card. This card seems amazing though. Does it not? It like accelerates you, gives you fuel to give a thane menace. Two two body. Seems pretty good. Mm. Gives us another direction to like open up looking at black cards. I still think I'm gonna be just aggressive red for the most part. Look at this. It's just three one. This guy he kinda like it can be aggressive, and sometimes later, red decks, like, just die a couple of stupid flyers, so this helps stop that. Iron Race, you may put an artifact card from your hand into the battlefield. It gains haste, sacrifice it. Poor man, I mean, that, you know, it needs to be that expensive because that effect is busted, but I think we're nowhere near that. Mmm... Destroy target permanent. I mean, that's a lot of mana. Eight mana before it does anything. Um, maybe take this guy. Potentially go look at that as a possibility. Creature or artifact. This thing mills. And yeah, it seems pretty mid. Target creature gets plus two and gains first strike and trample until that turn. That seems pretty good. We have a lot of upfront guys, so like, you know, giving this first strike and trample on the attack, it like just eats a cre they like block with their two two. You're like, actually, I'm gonna kill your two two and deal three damage to you. Seems pretty good. Hmm. All this seems pretty dull. Take this, I guess. I did talk this card up. Would it be wrong to just take it now? I mean, it's a red card. It could be a signal. Sacrifice this thing. Draw a card. Okay. Prowess deck. This card can be pretty good. This card has been good for me in the past. So it's, it's an interesting card. Your guy gets bigger. Their guy, go away. Stop blocking. Okay. Choose two. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on up to one creature. It gains lifelink until end of turn. Okay, destroy target creature. It's tiny. Turn to two cards. Creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Each opponent sacrifices creatures with the highest... So that's what you do. You make them sacrifice their best dude, and you could like return two grads from the graveyard or something. So value. Mm. Deals one. Oh, when it's battlefield, deals one damage. Put a one one counter on a target creature. It gains trample and haste until insurance will give to itself or create a tapped thing. Hmm. Take this and just go a bunch of see all the colors. <laughs> I don't know what my second color is yet. What's this thing do? Choose to exile uh, target player's graveyard. You gain one life each card. Exile, search your library for two lands, put them into battlefield, create two, two twos, put two, two. So you could six mana, two four fours. Oh, on each creature you control, each creature would get bigger. But also just take something like this, be super aggro. Um, don't think we're going to have a lot of prowess stuff. Kind of just wasted that pick. These are the cards I want to be playing. Hmm. 3-1 reach. 3-1 reach. I don't know what I just said. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wow, that's kind of a cool card. As additional cost to cast this, sacrifice a creature, deals damage equal to that creature's 
Sacrifice creatures power to any target. Draw a card. Okay, so it's a fling effect. Maybe we take some, uh, threatens, you know? Still a lot of mana, though. Scry 2. That's pretty good. One man of any color. Great attacked thing. Eh, yeah, we'll take this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm, like, forcing mono red. What is this thing? I mean, is the Battlefield Destroyer a thing? Wow, that seems so good. You, like, activate this end of turn. This card, like, draws a card. Kinda. We don't have a ton of artifacts. So it's just a 3 mana 3-2. Three, Is that better than this? I don't think so. Sacrifice another creature against flying. Let's take this Evolving Wilds. I don't know, man. Against Double Strike until end of turn. Six mana. Whenever opponent casts a spell, that player loses five life unless they discard a card. Uh, it's pretty bad. Whenever a creature with power equal to his stuff and such as the battle under control, we don't have a lot of that. It's like a big fucking boy. Mm. I don't know. No, that seems great. This spell costs three less to cast if it targets a creature card with mana of value three or less. Turn target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. No. Mmm. Nah. Meh. At the beginning of your graveyard, keep tap this unless you pay three mana. I mean, sure, fuck it. We're gonna be these Power Stones, red, big red deck. There's the battlefield. Uh, you may discard a card if you do draw a card, okay. It's like, low to the ground, it's an artifact, it can do its thing. As long as you sacrifice a permanent this turn. We don't have a lot of that. Take this guy. Looks like one of these could have been good. Like being that instead of this. This thing's wheeling. Hmm. Hmm. Fight card. Mm, search. How much fixing am I gonna have? I might. I'm gonna take this. Possibility. Like, what are we playing out of this stuff? We have a lot of cards in the sideboard, so we need to start picking up cards that we're gonna be playing. I don't know what that does, but we'll look at it. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Target creature you control. None of this is really that great. Let's take a load of the ground, dude. Uh, I consider this guy one time. I think this guy's double green makes this guy impossible to play. Green seems pretty fucking... Green-red, specifically, seems really open. Some flying idiot. No one wants any of this crap. Mm, wow, this is uncommon now? Interesting. Uh, we only get one rare. Boo! I want more than one rare. Isn't this card insane? At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 creature on target. 
one one counter target creature you control. Whenever another non token soldier you control dies, create a soldier. We have five soldiers. And doesn't like a couple of our cards make soldiers? Or am I crazy? Yeah, these two make soldiers when they die. So that's like really good with that. Yeah, seems good. Hmm. Black and green stuff. Uh, when it attacks, if there are three or more creature cards in your graveyard, draw a card. I feel like that could happen a decent amount. So it's also just like a nice accelerator dude that I like. And it's in our base color. So. Wow, this card could be in, just make so much shit. Um. Card could be insane. You bring back this guy, this guy, and like. Is there another in this one? Just take another one of these. I'm really just taking all the red. I feel like this is good here. Now this is over here. So if we cut these, right? Just we're mono red. How many is this? 17. I feel like we need to play some of these and we'll figure out which ones are the best. This card's actually pretty damn good. Six soldiers. It doesn't even need another soldier. I mean, to be good. Just play it pre combat. Something starts growing exponentially. It seems insane. We play Chromatic Lantern and we could play all this. These random things. Like, just those good cards. Mm. Do I want this? I mean, we like this aggressive 17 uh, preacher deck. This can just push it over the top sometimes. It also makes soldiers, you know? Hmm. Just another aggressive dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six artifacts now for this thing. Could also play this thing. Oh, I should have taken Evolving Wilds. What was I thinking? That was hasty. I saw it last second. It was like, uh... No. Oh, hey. There we go. The brain... The stone brain. Exile this. Choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand. And library. Up to four copies of that card. Sweet. Have an untapped creature you control generate one color of any mana. I mean, that's kind of good. That's pretty good, too. don't think we're actually going to play this. Let's find another deck. We only have one Sacrifice Outlet. I don't even know if we're playing this, you know? We have an 8. 
a five, a four, a couple sixes, and, may, and then, you know, that's pretty good. But you don't want to be going like two for one as a removal spell and just playing one fling. You know, I'd play fling, but this is four mana. Fuck that. Hmm. Do we play two of these and two of these and four forests? It's like six. I would cut at least one swamp. I think. Lane early is pretty good. Just feel like can't keep any like opening hand that doesn't actually have a forest or a mountain. This actually end up might being red a couple times, you know. So let's add one of those. Cut one swamp. Um. I like having these sevens with these couple of these guys. This thing makes it a token, you know. This guy can be cast for cheap. Hmm. It's like an aggressive deck with like a couple of these. You can use this on both sides, so, you know. We need to like play this guy or out. We also just have like an aggressive hand deck, right? You could just like turn two this guy. They don't play a guy. Turn three this guy. You hit him for three. Then they play a dude. Then you're like, okay, turn four. Mm. This. Boom. You just like win the game. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. 41 card special. As per usual. Uh, so what was what's up everybody how's everybody doing now i f i feel like i should just you know stop talking about magic now that the hectic park is part is over life's been crazy with me lately but i'm feeling really good um we're just like constantly improving on little things and it feels great and i hope everyone else is too Hope you all had a uh, nice Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. It's coming up right around the corner. Ho, 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 who didn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the mountaintop. Click, click, click. Down through the chimney with old Saint Nick. You put this on itself. I hope so. Yeah, all right. So is this guy just going to grow out of hand, or does he have some removal? Find out right now. Boo. Whatever. Maybe I really am supposed to just play this guy first. Actually, yeah, I definitely should have. If it dies, it dies. Um... Yeah, block here. We get a dude on the back end. Do we have enough big top end to make this worthwhile, though? I think we just... Do we go and search for it? I don't think so. I don't like that plan. Doesn't even tap to do it. So he gets in there for two for one time. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I think we are we made like a grave game altering error, you know. Uh, cause like let's say well, hmm. Let's see, how did it affect it? He played it on three. So it didn't actually delay this guy in any capacity. Well, 
playing 17 lands, right? Maybe I want to cut one? No, I don't think I want to cut one when I have, like, a, a 7 in my deck. And I technically have, like, a lot of 7s, but, like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> um... Yeah, we could have played our guy right last turn if we had drawn that. In for two. Play land, end our turn. Double block that 6-4. He doesn't want to sacrifice the 2-2, two, two, which makes sense. He's got so much mana already, and we're at eight. Any trick just saves this guy, probably kills us. There's like a couple trample cards. Okay. Or that can happen. I'll allow it. He didn't even attack with the 2 2 at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I think we just attack. He didn't have a trick last turn. So this is just going to be block and sack. You know? Mm. So if we just drew a swamp... Well, I guess we could go get one now. Now it feels like it could be pretty good. Giving this guy menace two turns in a row. Also costs a black to do activate, so we want to be getting this guy out now. Oh god, that's painful. Uh, I also think yeah, let's search this up. I don't want to go get it with this, because I want to be able to play the card this turn. Seven. Uh, yeah, we played the swamp. I'm like, did we play a land that turn? Duh. <laughs> I just want to get this out of my hand, thin my deck. Okay, what do you got? Oh, I lose one life. Tap those one mana really, you know, one at a time. What a bitch. <laughs> Mm. Corrupt. Corrupt is a fucked up card, guys. Corrupt is such a fucked up card. I mean, what was that? Like, a he seven damage or something? He couldn't just wait to draw a swamp. By the way, he, like, just had to do it that way. Draw some little schmuck that deals one damage. Alright, so two drop into three drop. Or two drop into give that two drop flying tech for four in the air. We are on the draw here, which kind of sucks. This hand would be just, you know, silly on the play against most uh, starts from opponents. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we jammed this out turn one. Makes sense. Tap an untapped creature you control. So you can tap the guy that comes into play. Like, doesn't matter if it uh doesn't have haste or nothing. He does have blue mana, so he might have some flyers. Grexus, okay.
Hmm. Well, I could just play this thing. Or no, this like prevents me from attacking stuff. It's one of these two. I guess I could force him to just have some removal where we kill him fairly quickly, or we attack, probably blocks, and then we play a 2 2 menace. This guy has his own form of evasion. Let's just go for this. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. All right, well, that was very min efficient, but hey, we got the thing back, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, he was able to play another thing. So if we play this for taps itself, gives itself flying, yeah, sure. Oh, no, or we can play this guy, right? Yeah, this seems better. I'd probably block his 3-2, I think. My 2-2. Two -two. What world does he not attack in? Trying to be defensive. Mm, Mills 3... He didn't hit a thing, so that's cool. Four, five, six. Oh, I could just play this thing. Give it flying in haste. Give it flying in haste and attack for five if I play this. Yeah, that seems good. Next turn we can fire breathing a shitload. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's eleven damage in the air next turn if he doesn't kill this. Okay, he killed it. Text us for five down to nine. Uh yeah, this card is sick. The value from it is just redonkulous. Okay, play this. Well, hold on. I could just jam this guy. Yeah. Sacrifice this. Go get a black, I guess. We have a black card in the graveyard. So that makes sense. So we're at nine. This thing, what's it do? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, that's good. Good game. Hmm. Yeah, that card, it was sick. I'm glad we picked that up when I was like, uh, I think this is busted. Even though, like, enchantments are typically not busted. This one, like, it's Rancor. It give, makes your creature a dragon. I mean, come on. It seems so cool. You know I'm taking this, testing this out. First time you see this type of card. <laughs> I, can you believe that my last draft, man, I got Urza, like, fifth pick or something like that? I'm like, oh, uh, I think we have a direction now. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. Mm. It's a little risky. Sending the deck out. His name is you. Hello. 
Hello, you. All right, we'll go get a forest. It has to be a land, right? Yeah, this one's pretty good because, you know, lands are good. Discard a card. Uh. Sheesh. Yeah, sure. I need to get some sort of... I need to hit a land. Super bad, so. But discarding the one card we can cast, that might have been a little sus. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, I'll block. Sure. Oh, boo. Guess I'll block here. Probably. Okay, he does notice it has reach. Mm. I'm still attacking, though. He's the aggressor. That might be psychotic, but I can't believe we're missing this many land drops. Blows. Ugh. Well, your turn. Fuck. At least this thing made some mana so we could cast this dude. Board two. Okay. This guy would kill both of his guys if he double blocked. Because he has to, because it has menace. So, yeah, I'm going to attack that guy. Mm. Let's go get a planes. Okay. Play this, and then one of my threes seems like the play. Hmm. This guy will trade with his guy, so I like that. Okay. Now that shows he's attacking with both. I am still think I'm going to block this one. Better statted. Oh, that sucks ass. Is it counters? It is. It's a fucking plus one, plus one counter. So now this is lethal next turn. This guy can kill his flyer though, so that's good. At least we have that going for us. Okay. 
I have to figure out a way to kill this 3-5 or get some more damage in there this turn. Ugh, gain life. What a bitch. Fucking 4-4. Four, four. Huh. to help in some way to kill this thing free combat with something with this thing I haven't done the math but this might be enough four five six seven yeah it is let's go right Oh my god, good game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking go. That was hot. That was spicy. Oh. Play to win, baby. Play to win. That's what I like. I feel like when I play my absolute best. Uh, I want to win the game. But if I had played poorly, I would have lost that game. I mean, I don't know if I played perfect, but I played well enough. You know, perfect is such a hard way to decipher. It's not like chess, you know, where you could know. You're like, oh, blunder. Instantly, as soon as you do it, blunder. That's a blunder. <laughs> We're not that world. Well, what is up with our opponent? Where are they at? It's trying to look for somebody at my level that just can't find them. I understand. I feel it. Jonas of the Wizard. All right. We're on the play. Got an aggressive hand. I like this. Hmm. I think we play this one first. Because we're okay. Well, now we know. Now we play the other one first. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. That's all right with me. Hmm, play this, or get out our 3-1. Maybe we'll get out the 3-1. Might hold him back from attacking. Uh, we'll be able to like shoot it in a turn or two or something. I'm also just happy to take the one if he attacks. Um, okay. I'd like to kill that before we play out our dude. Say so go. Don't want him to just kill it for no fucking reason. Heavyweight demolish. Boom. He is a heavyweight. That guy's huge looking. I like big looking guys. That trample hurts. Hey, whiff, whiff, whiff. Yes. I'm happy to see that. Wait. Wait. Did he whiff? Am I crazy? It was this, this. Oh no. See how that went there? For some reason I always thought this was like a romantic lantern. The third card he hit. Third was the land. Alright. Oh. What am I doing? Uh I'm so pissed. Should have played this guy first and killed this dude.
I mean, it looks like he's in... Yeah, whatever. God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I remember we're one land away from casting this guy. It's kind of cool. Okay. We would die, exile it, and now that thing's dead too. Boo. Uh, this guy comes into play and shoots that thing down. Trades with this other dude. Okay, did this one guy go two for one? No, but hey, that's fine. Went one for one. It went two for one, yeah, it did. Hey, your turn. Wow. And damage to my face. Boom. Unleash shell. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to block. He's at 22. No, 1-1's one, not going to go the distance. I have to play this out. Deals 1, but... Hey. It's closer to our guy and it trades. Drew us an uncastable card, which isn't cool, but hey. Alright. Like seeing you... Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, this blocks for a couple turns. Okay. I hope he just jams with both. That'd be nice. Oh. Okay. I think that was the wrong play. That doesn't have trampler or nothing. Hmm. I mean, I guess I just have to block and try to find a three power dude. Get in there. Take your eight. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're dead. I don't think there's anything that saves us from here. Okay, this puts us to one. This guy block. Hopefully, he just hits land after land after land. Menace, dude, not what I like to see. Okay. I mean, I knew we were dead a hot minute ago, but I just decided to play it out. Oh, well. No big deal. That was a fun game. Mm. I 
think how did that game work out? I don't even fucking remember. Um I feel like there was one moment where I was like, ah oh, shit. That's it. It was reasonable until then. Mm. Could have also cast my guy way sooner if I had just shot his dude. Did I shoot something else? What did I make with my guy? I don't even remember. Alright, this hand looks fine. Guys that go to the graveyard, guy that wants dudes in the graveyard. Enough mana. Mm, we're thinning out our deck. So, but I mean, we do want to draw mana. Like, lands for alert our later dudes, but... Mm. I'm going to play this here. want to get a guy out and get uh, our lantern out next turn. Mm, let's get a swamp, I guess. We have less of those. Back two. Your turn. Okay, you get to return that creature to your hand, okay. Okay, um. Your, your turn. Trying to just get these guys in the graveyard now, block the stuff, let trades happen. See if he has tricks and stuff. Okay. Draws a card. Gains for life. Get a 1-1. One, one. It's going to hold back this miner for a while. It's not a counter, right? Yeah. Okay. Play a land. Cast this guy. Attack for 2. Turn. Blocky blocky. He's got a lot more cards in hand. He also has, we know he has a dude that just draws him a card when it comes into play. Um only have one creature in the graveyard so far. It's only when it attacks, too. We kind of need it in play. Uh, I think I'm just going to say go. Wait, this gets a 4-5? Hold on. Oh my god, I thought... I, I'm so bad. I thought this was a 4-3. I swear to you. Oh, that's so bad. I honestly thought this guy was a 4-3. This guy could have just traded, eaten up his guy. All right, we're going to do it still, but... Oh, man. We even thinned our deck out of two lands. So we have one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands so far. And one, two, three, four, five, six spells. That's just some bullshit. I don't think he's missed a land drop either, but. Ugh. 
grows. This game's not looking good. I mean, we have some giant dudes with unearth and stuff. But we'll have to see. These lands look so awful. God damn it, dude. Full control. Let's hit no attacks and then think here for a second. Try to make it not seem like, hey, we got nothing. We gotta bluff a little bit. Ugh. I think this is the block. Trade material. Just place two more guys. All right. That's just crazy, dude. Our lifestyle was how many lands we had drawn. Damn it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I even was concerned that that hand was going to uh, draw or get land screwed with our opening. It was like uh, two evolving wilds by turn. Two, I think. It like mounted in two of them, I think. Yeah, and then we just drew everything. All of them. Like this guy would have been cool at some point getting in there. This guy never really took off. We had multiple of these like soldiers died during that game, so this guy could have been actually good. The one game we drew this and we played it, we won. That card was hella good. Really impressive. I don't know if it's a windmill first pick, but I feel like it's pretty high up there. Um, it might be, though. Just that flying is so nice. And just extra fryer breathing for no fucking reason. Like, it's like a phoenix and a dragon at the same time. It's pretty cool. Mm, this card was nice. Um, this card was, you know, power to sell for sure. I didn't know that this was a 4-5. Never really... I mean, that game could have been so nice if it had just stayed alive. We just needed a couple more guys to get to the graveyard, but we drew so many fucking lands that just we didn't have even the fuel to get to three guys in the graveyard until much later. Mm. Well, it was an interesting deck. I thought it was going to do better. I thought I was going to perform better. Um, yeah, well, it's all good. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. You kick ass, take names, up fucking tame. Uh, let me know what you thought about this deck in the comments. I would be interested to get some discussion about some, you know, what was I missing in the draft um, portion of it? Did I, like, clearly there was something open that I didn't recognize? Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to watch it myself again, in fact. So, But, yeah, catch you all later. Peace.